Park. I hope you guys enjoyed that drone footage that I took from last night. We took that just as we arrived into camp, but we didn't really have much of an opportunity to get any other compositions, and the sky was just sort of eh, so that was it for photography for that night. But we're here for two nights, and this is going to be our second one, well, second day. So right now, we're off shooting sunrise, and we got some pretty nice cliffs in the background right here. Julian's doing his piece to camera somewhere around there. You might be able to see him. But I've already framed up a composition. We woke up an hour before sunrise, as typical fashion is with Julian. He likes to wake up early, and therefore I have to wake up early. So I'm a bit tired. <laughs> but nevertheless, the camera's all set up. We got a composition where we got this cliff face here framed up. I'm just waiting for Julian to finish his little French thing to camera, and then I can show you guys the composition. But pretty much a rundown for what we're gonna do this morning. I'm probably gonna try and capture the wide angle of this cliff right here. And then once the sun finally comes up, we're going to catch some abstracts of the rock patterns around here because they're really nice. And we're probably also going to send the drone up to get some new photos as well, just because I think there's so much potential here, especially for using a drone, which I never really do. So it'll be nice to finally make use of that drone. But stick around. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And let's go check out the composition I framed up because it looks like Julian's finished talking to the camera. So we're over at the camera now, and it's on a pretty precarious position. I'm standing just on the edge of a bit of a cliff right now. But I think the shot that I've got framed up is pretty nice and different to what I normally shoot. This is actually a vertical composition. So I'll flip around the camera and I'll show you what I've got framed up here. So this is the scene that we're working with here, where I'm using the line of the cliff face as it passes down the coast to that point there, which is sort of your main subject. And the really nice thing about this water coming in is because it's coming in on such a shallow pattern, you'll see now as it comes out, it makes these really nice lines and the challenge is trying to capture those lines with a long exposure it just makes for such a nice abstract uh, element to the composition and this is what the scene looks like on the back of the camera i'm shooting this one very wide angle just to include the base of that rock there in the composition i don't want to cut that off and i've just got julian's camera in the top right there which i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna have to photoshop out but it shouldn't be too much of an issue and I'm shooting these ones as a focus stack just because it's so wide. I want to get all of this foreground here in the scene and focus as well as the background. So each of these is going to be two frames. And pretty much that's all there is to say about it. Still waiting for the sun to pop over the horizon so I might develop this scene a bit more when the sun comes up. But other than that, all I'll say is just snap the shot now. about 15 minutes later after that photo pretty much exact same spot the sun's already come up and I was about to walk away after I took that photo and walk uh, further down the ridge line to see if I could get a better shot of the cliffs and then lo and behold I noticed a beautiful pattern in the rocks right below my feet so I'll flip it around and I'll show you what I've been distracted by probably for the last 20 minutes because I've just found such a nice shot and I've just been trying to frame it up as best as I can with the tripod so here's what we're working with. This is the scene that we have going on here where we have this really nice, I think it's a shell. Just looking at it, it has the patterns like a shell. So I'd say it's a white shell. And we just have this little, uh, almost eroded uh, vein of, I don't know what, but it's something in the rocks that's turned a really nice white. And it just looks, brilliant contrasted against this uh, dark rock right here. 
So on the back of the camera, I've turned it into black and white mode just to emphasize the look I'm going for. We'll see if we can get it without having any, uh, or too much glare. My hand over here. Uh, it's not really gonna work. But essentially we have the white part here framed up with the diagonal line curving over the, in, of the vein. And I think this scene works so nicely as an abstract. I'm actually so happy with this. Julian's probably wondering why I'm still over here taking photos. But I am absolutely obsessed with this scene. And I think this means that I'm probably going to try and capture a few more abstracts. Because you can see that along here the veins sort of continue a bit. There's a bit of bird shit there. I can make an abstract of that. But... I think there's so much potential here for creating abstracts in these beautiful rock textures which pass along the sides. So I'm probably going to have a go at doing that. But for now, I'm going to capture this photo and if I see anything that's insanely cool in like the term in terms of abstracts or anything like that, then I'll do a little bit more pieces to camera and sort of try and explain the compositions, but if they're all right and I'm not super excited about them like I was about this one, I'll sort of just throw them up after the photo that I'm about to share right now. So let me know what you think. I'm really happy with this one, at least now. Hopefully it's good in the edit, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. enjoyed those one or two shots that I uh, just put up for you but I turned my back for one second and lo and behold look who's over there and I wonder what he's copying because the spot that he's shooting at right now looks very similar to the spot I just shot that composition of the white wall so let's go and investigate what what's going on so I think I think Julian might be stealing my composition what are you photographing over there Julian same as me? Oh shit, I thought that it was not the same. <laughs> Look at this! Stealing, 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 stealing. Mine will be better anyway. It's my composition. Very typical of Julian to do that, but my shot is still gonna be better anyway because I got it without the light on it. Now the light's coming down, it's sort of messing with the scene. Hopefully. <laughs> no, my shot's better, my shot's better. Surely it will be. Ugh, onwards and upwards, I think. breakfast and we've headed back to our campsite luckily it's not that long of a walk we're literally just over just just beside the cliff so it's not bad hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage that just came up we're back at camp now back by the cars and we're sort of going to work out what we're going to do for the day as far as planning goes we're going to be heading to a nearby lagoon where i'm going to fly your drone yeah we're going to be heading to a nearby lagoon where i've seen photos on instagram which look insane so we're going for low tide and it creates like as the water goes out, somehow these branching tree patterns. Hopefully I'll be able to catch something similar to that, but honestly, I don't know. It's like those tree patterns that you see in like some sort of Icelandic uh, delta or something like that. Got a little composition that we're gonna be trying to shoot right now, which is just some nice uh, gum trees, literally 10 meters away from the campsite. It's fantastic. But they just look so nice in this spot. Obviously could use a little bit more atmosphere. It's getting towards a uh, full sun, but we'll go ahead and shoot this one handheld. I'll pretty much just put it up for you guys and let you, and let you have a let you form your own opinion. But I'll capture this one now, and I'll put it up for you guys and let me know what you think.
It's been a minute since I've chatted with you guys, but pretty much what's happened since that epic drone footage that you would have just seen with a slideshow of insanely cool pictures from the lagoon is we went back to the beach, went back to the campsite, and we decided to have lunch on the beach, had a beer or two, and I spotted another sort of brown river going along the beach down into the ocean, and I thought it would be nice to get a photo of that, and maybe we'll do that tomorrow morning, but Julian was a little bit too inspired, so he went off, got the car, and brought all the camera bags over to the beach, and here we are capturing more photos. There's there's Julian right behind me and he's been nice enough to lend me his microphone because I actually have no clue where my lav mic is at the moment. I thought it was in my camera bag but apparently not. So that's a thing, that's a thing. But at the moment we're just going to be capturing some photos handheld of this amazing brown river behind us. I think, don't quote me on this, I think it's eucalyptus oil that makes the water brown. But it just is so lovely going around the rocks. It creates these ni nice uh, gradations from brown to yellow to the whitish yellow sand. It's really nice for photos. And I'll bring you guys over and I'll show you what it looks like. Because it's quite nice. And we're sort of just walking up the stream and we're finding compositions as we go. But this is essentially what's going on here. Is you have this lovely brown water with a nice transition you can see there in the middle. And as we move up we can sort of see how the sand on the sides interacts with it and how all the rocks are changing its appearance. Like if we go up here to these rocks in this area, I think it's a pretty nice composition right here. But essentially what we're going to be doing is just walking upstream, got quite a ways to go and we're going to just see what we can find the whole way. So I'm probably not going to be able to record much of it for you guys just because it will be handheld and the camera is already hanging from my uh, strap on my bag since I left my capture clip plate in the car so I can't put it on the side of my bag there. The audio prance probably sounds terrible because I'm moving around the mic but that's whatever. So yeah, follow along. I'll put some photos up of the compositions that I find along here and hopefully you like them because this is a pretty cool spot. Especially that lagoon that we just went to, that was insane. So yeah, tell me what you think. in this spot. I think that after we shoot sunset today we're probably going to come back to this spot in the morning just before we head back to Brisbane and I'm going to see if I can fly the drone up over this because I got a feeling I got a feeling that when it's getting to low tide we'll get similar conditions to what we just had this morning in the other lagoon because this is a different lagoon same sort of principle of it drains off into the sea but it's about five kilometers away from the other one so it's got the same color to it, so there's a good potential that we might get some really nice patterns in this one as well from the air, but we managed to go through three drone batteries when we were capturing those lagoon photos. So it all depends on whether we're able to charge one of the drone batteries with the little car charger that I have. But we'll see what we can do, and for now, back to the photos. So I'll put some more up for you guys to see if I get any. I think that'll be an end to the photos that we got for this afternoon and I think we can start to relax until it gets to around sunset time. Although looking at the clouds now, I've got a feeling that we're not going to get the craziest sunset but at the same time I want to try and get some abstract uh, textures of the rocks. I know I got some this morning as well but 
honestly, I think that's where the potential is at the moment. Until we get to sunrise tomorrow, where we'll be photographing those red cliffs that you've seen in the drone photos from probably the start of this video, or I'm breaking this up into two videos from the start of the trip for us. Because that's probably the perfect subject for our sunrise shoot. But sunset, we're probably going to hang around those cliffs as well. I don't think we have any plans of leaving the campsite. So it'll really just be see what we can find and then snap that if you get any good light. But honestly, not too hopeful about that. It'll be alright. But for now, we'll head back to the beach towels and maybe have a beer or two, have some water, and just relax. So just doing a little bit of first person action, I decided to rig up the Osmo to the side of my uh, infrared camera's cage and pretty much just gonna walk down the bushland track and capture what we can because I didn't realize until I put this filter on I wasn't actually expecting to take many infrared photos today but it's just some insane possibilities you can get with this because I was assuming that all this grass would just be all one color but there's such a beautiful variation to it and it's contrasted so nicely by the white trunks of the trees. It's absolutely amazing. Just need to find the right composition, but I think there is so much potential in this tree line here, especially right now because we got just this lovely flat light over everything, where it's just allowing the colors to speak for the image rather than, uh, you know, light determining what you want to look at. But we'll keep on walking through. I'm gonna get some really nice photos, I think. Possibly, if I just snake in there. Yeah, that could work. Probably nothing, but see what it looks like. But yeah, gonna have to be a little bit selective with the Osmos battery. But hopefully you guys enjoy these photos, because I think it's very typical of me to be using the IR Chrome, but. At least I got some visible light ones, just a bit of fun while we're waiting for uh, lunch to cook up. Almost thought I'd get a kangaroo walking through in that scene for a second. Oh, these white trees, they look so nice against the red. It's actually awesome. Now that I got the IR chrome out, have to have to do it. A photo that I shot earlier in the car park right by our campsite. This right here is where we're set up and this is that composition that I was shooting earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and capture this one with the IR chrome filter as well because you know why the hell not? Just frame it up nice and handheld. This is really nice just being able to shoot handheld for once rather than being grounded by a tripod. This tree's a little bit nice. Just cut the sky out of it there. You guys are wondering what settings I'm using for pretty much all of these photos. Going 1 100th of a second, ISO 200, and the lowest f-stop I can go, which at the moment is 5.6. But this lens is variable, so could be going up to 6.3, I think. With that being done, I think we're gonna head back to camp. Have a bit of food and relax now. Even though I said that was exactly what we were gonna do a little bit earlier. We're actually gonna relax this time. <laughs> so, I don't think there's gonna be much of a sunset, but anyway, catch up with you then. So photos wise, sunset ended up being a little bit of a bust. I was expecting maybe a little bit of light to break through, but it ended up being that the clouds on the horizon were just way too much for any light to pass through into the sort of bushland area that we were in. But it did do a nice little uh, little glow in the clouds, so hopefully you saw that just before. But since sunset's been a bit of a bust, I guess that leaves the next thing for us to do to be uh, sunrise tomorrow. So for the rest of the day, just gonna relax and enjoy the fire and a little bit of food. Have a little bar have a little barbecue and have a few uh have a few beers. So yeah, catch up with you guys in the morning and hopefully we get some good photos then because we got quite a bit planned still for this trip, even though there is only one day left. So hope you guys beer, enjoy. Beer, 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 beer.